Shalom, back with uh, part two. Again, uh, we're reading, you know, from an article, all right? Uh, all right, we're reading for out of an article here, okay? All right, and uh, the title, all right? Texas Senate, uh, Texas Senate bill removes classroom requirement to teach that the KKK is morally wrong, right? They don't want uh, students learning about that or learning about slavery, all right, or the uh, eugenics movement, okay? You understand? You got that, people? And again, we went to the blue letter, all right? And we're showing you about certain things here. So let's get back to it before we get back to this article. Let's get back to the blue letter and finish up. All right. So the word Lucifer simply means light bearer. And that's talking about, again, the Illuminati. All right. The international banking families, your Rothschilds, your Oppenheimers, your Rockefellers, etc., etc., 13 families and all. That's your shadow government. That's your cabal. All right, all these governments that have been set up are nothing but puppet government set up by them. Okay, that's it. All right, you understand that? Most of that was done after World War II. All right, but that's who they serve. They don't serve the people. All right, they follow the agenda, you know, of their masses. All right, of who they're serving. See, King of Babylon. And we're not talking about ancient Babylon here, people. We're talking about the daughter of Babylon, the daughter of the Chaldeans. She has many titles, all right? Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots, abominations of the earth, all right? This is talking about America. You understand that? All right? So of the king of Babylon and Satan. Many of y'all out there don't know what Satan means. Satan. It simply means adversary, okay? And who's that talking about? The human counterpart, the human adversary who is opposed to the Most High. All right? And we'll show you that in a moment here. All right? Let's finish up reading here. All right? So how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Heaven, meaning, see, Esau is in his heaven. See, the Edomites, the white man. But us, the Negro, Latino, Native American, we're in our hell. All right? Because he rules. He's in the power seat. Okay? Now, he's at the end of his little short season, which you read about in uh, Revelations, the 20th chapter. All right, and the Lord to referring to them, to that nation of people as the dragon, which goes back to the Roman Empire, the old serpent, which goes back to the garden, which is talking about the sons of the wicked, okay, and, you know, which is the devil and Satan, okay, and devils is talking about a man, and I just told you what Satan means, simply adversary, so, all right. We're going to go to the uh, definition of uh, devil in a moment, all right? First, let me finish up with what I'm doing here. And then, of course, we have to get back to the article. So, you see, how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? All right? That's talking about Esau, right? How art thou cut to the ground, which did weaken the nations? How did they weaken the nations? Through their deceptions and lies, through their bombs, you know, uh, you know, B-52 bombers, okay, uh, modern day drone bombing, you understand, making fire come out of the sky. This is all scriptural, people, all right? Okay. For thou art said in thy heart that I will ascend into heaven, Right? And there are four levels of heaven, all right? And I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. So again, what's that? What comes to mind? The space program, NASA. You understand? 
And again, nobody ever went to the moon. All right? That's a lie, a bold faced lie. All right? And, um, you know, what the hell is his name? Stanley Kubrick is on video himself telling you he filmed all that. Okay? And you'll find that video on YouTube. All right? <sighs> And I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation. That's talking about the church. All right? The temple. Talking about you Israelites. All right? I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation. That's the church, the temple, you Israelites, you Negro, Latino, Native Americans in the sides of the north. North America. Got that? America, Babylon the Great. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. You see that? Going into space and will be like the most high. See, they, they have a problem because uh, the radiation belts, which are also known as the, uh, the Van Allen belts. Okay? Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the side of the pit. And that's what the Lord is doing to this man. All right? He's taking him out of power. And they that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble? And let me repeat that. Is this the man? You see, this is not talking about the spiritual entity Satan. You see, you people have been brainwashed. Okay? Your minds have been perverse and corrupted to believe in deceptions and lies, as if uh, the spiritual entity Satan, who's an angel who sits on the left-hand side of the Father, was ever kicked out of heaven. Falsehood, lies, deceptions, a fairy tale. Go read Job, the first and second chapters, and it'll show you who he served. He served the heavenly Father, Yahweh, who created him who could destroy him at any time. He's an employee. Okay? All right? So, talking about man, right? You see that? That that did, that man that made the earth to trouble and did shake kingdoms, right? How did he do that with his bombings, right? That made the world as a wilderness, and destroyed the cities thereof. Who's done that? Who's done that? All right. Uh, who's responsible for deforestation, GMO foods, chemtrails in the air? All right. Poison, water, lead water. You understand that, people? Who's responsible for these things? You all know who's responsible for that. They're the ones in the policy, right? that open not the house of his prisoners. And that's what we are. We're all prisoners of hope here. All right? And basically, you know, America, Babylon, the great is nothing but, you know, a prison to the Israelites. You understand? All right? So, like I says, all right, prepare slaughter for his children, right? Because according to the article, see, they feel that you know, a child, you know, a man's seed is not responsible, you know, for what their forefathers did, right? So basically, they're trying to escape the judgment. That's the bottom line. But what does it say here in the scriptures? They're not going to escape the judgment. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. This is talking about the nation of Edom. All right? For I will rise up against them, says the Lord of hosts, hosts meaning armies, like in the angels. You understand? And the Lord has many armies. Okay? The angels, the chariots. He controls all things, and all things obey his will. And that's pursuant to Escalatius 18 and 3. All right? Okay, and cut off from Babylon, this is talking about America, Babylon the Great, the name, the remnant, 
and the son and nephew. Now, why is it that we're reading the remnant, right? And the son and nephew, so we're talking about the male seed, saith the Lord, you see? Because women have no seed, see? Do you understand? So they're going to have to pay, okay? They're going into slavery. You scroll up, all right, for 14 and 2, all right? And I'll start at 1 for you. For the Lord, Yahweh, will have mercy on Jacob, right? The 12 tribes, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers, which are Israelite foreigners, because Israelites were scattered into all Gentile heathen nations, okay? And when they got together with heathen women and had children, well, those children are the seed of the father. Now, so you're going to have Israelites that look like those nations and speak in those nations' tongue. Nonetheless, they're Israelite by the seed of their fathers pursuant to Numbers 1 and 18. You understand that? So there's no getting away from this stuff, people. All right? So, and these strangers, the Israelite foreigners, shall be joined with them with who? With the house of Israel, the house of David, and they shall cleave, right, unto the house of Jacob, the 12 tribes. There you go. Because, again, the heathen's not going to cleave unto you. Just the Israelites, the Israelite foreigners, right? And they'll be strangers to you, all right? Because they look like the other nations and speak in that nation's tongue. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel, right, shall possess them in the land of the Lord. Yahweh for servants and handmaids. Who is it that we're going to possess, right, in the land of Israel, right? Our home, all right, the Lord's home, his land, all right, for servants and handmaids. Who is it that we're going to possess? Let's find out. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors. Who oppressed us? Who put us into slavery? Esau, Edom. The white man, right? All right, let's back that up. We go here to uh, Revelations. Revelations um, 13, 9 and 10. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Right? What that means is anyone who has understanding, let him understand. That's what it simply means. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Is there something wrong there? This is the book of Revelations, which means reveal, to remove the veil. You got it, people? Do you understand that? All right? And he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints. Those saints, the saints, the meek, the poor, the righteous. That's all talking about the nation of Israel. You Israelites. Go to Psalms, you know, uh, 148 and 14. We'll tell you that. All right? Okay, what else comes to mind? He that leadeth in captivity shall go into captivity. Exodus 21, 16. All right? Exodus 21, 16. All right. Give me a minute. All right. This is Exodus 21, 16. And he that stealeth a man, right, and selleth him. And remember, the Atlantic slave trade started with the northern kingdom. All right. When Columbus came here. All right. 1100 were put onto ships. Only 300 survived the trip back to Seville, Spain, but thus began the Atlantic slave trade. So, or if he be found in his hand as in possession, he shall surely be put to death. There you go. All right, people, we'll end this here. We'll be right back with part three. Show one.